There's like OD that can stop uh, Baratrum in his tracks when he charges, but yeah, uh, those kind of heroes that can't deal with this aggression on the mid lane. We talked about it. There aren't many heroes that can rotate mid, but when you're playing in the enemy jungle as the Spirit Breaker, you just charge from uh, their heart camp through the trees. And this mm. this little guy, this little yeah. guy is going to be he's big, coming like, back. He's coming back. I said it like when Ramses played it for VP. It, it, Slark and Storm, th these two heroes are definitely on the rise. If you disrupt Slark, will he always be able to get off his, uh, his thing before the sun hits? Can what he always mean? get out? Yeah, he can get up. Yeah, yeah? Mm -hmm. every single time? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can't remove disruption, though. Yeah, unless no, he uses, no, 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 no. But he, he will like that. Yeah, the, the I know. Yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, but, but the like combo, if he does, the combo won't work. Yeah, the combo shouldn't work. He should be unless like unless there's like maybe some like frame perfect. But I still don't. I think still this lock should be able to. And whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, gyro, gyro without an IO. Is it a gyro support or a Sven support? Is it gyro mid or gyro mid or Sven support? Yeah. So Team I Team Secret, ladies and gentlemen. I was gonna say, what did you yeah. say? He he talked with Pop Draft where um, this could have been the mid one underlord we've seen before. It could have yes. been any role for this Lena as well. But uh, I guess uh, most expected things to come. And we get another lovely Slark game. We do. And Anna, he is a bit of a beast on the old Slark, as we have seen here at the Major. And OG elsewhere. Other sort of heroes we've seen coming out. Sokshka, the man standing in this time on a Jakiro. A little bit easier for him than the clock, you reckon? Uh, I don't know. You know that? I, I guess so. They, they both kind of have annoying skill shot sure. things that you have to do right. But we'll see if he misses easier. any macro pies, you know. Yeah. No, sorry, but he's got great setup, right? This hero, Jakiro, with the with the darks here, with the Spirit Breaker, there's a lot of ways that they can make big team fight plays OG. Yeah, unfortunately, he didn't wind up getting the faceless void. You know, I thought maybe they'd oh, give him we the training wheels, the right? Void, we were talking about yeah, the void or the Naga. Void. You know, yeah. make it really easy that uh, been, for the Jakiro, but... It would have been pretty, but... Yeah, as I say, Anna, I'm sure he's watching the last game as well. He could certainly saw that that performance from LGD slot. Yeah, I mean, Underlord like, is oh, like... I can do that too. He's the hero you think of when you think of slot. Oh, yeah, you like, just keep you know. hitting him. He doesn't die. It's brilliant. Yeah. It Infinite is. essence shift stacks. And, uh, of course, there's the Atri Aura, which is, like, kind of annoying because you're a pure right-click sort of hero in the Slark, but, uh, but that's obviously, so, yeah. it's a good trade. It is, because sometimes you don't want to hit as hard as you are. You want to just <laughs> keep... You want, them, you want them to die nice and slowly. That's what he wants, and he's going to get it this game. They also have uh, some very beefy supports. I mean, high strength heroes in the Jakiro and the Spirit Breaker. Pretty decent stack gain on both of them. So uh, if you're looking to just like instantly dive them, it's not that easy. Even if someone like Alina for Yaps are here to like get that full damage, you're probably going to need that Soul Catcher uh, just to take down one of these two supports. And the, the laning setup here, we got Seb down in the bottom lane to start things off here. So he's going to be tanking a tri lane here from Secret and just trying not to die level one, obviously, which he's already succeeded at. Uh, or at least in the in the, the first moments where Puppy, of course, wants to try and catch you with a disruption into this instant kill, like you know they were setting up for a first blood down here. That's what she said, play it. Okay, chill close to the tower. Okay, this top lane, Hannah. He's gonna get that far. Inside bottom. They're gonna try for it. Stun. Into the light strike. Stacking up the poison onto Seb. They'll dive a few hits, and with the poison, it's enough, they'll get that kill. It's a risky lane. It's yeah. a scary three heroes. They'll get first blood. You, you can't get in. It's basically the same range for all three heroes you simply can't enter. You're either going to lead with the LSA, the disruption, or the stun. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Seb. Oh, Seb. All right. He, he's, he's this good. time, he should, he should be right, but he's, he's taken a hefty beating as soon as he's back in the lane there from the exact same combo. I mean, he's got three stacks on him, too. Right, he'll be so. okay, but he has just got those four tangos to rely on. Almost got sniped to the fort there as well. All right, a bit, bit difficult here. And now Boots even finished up there for Yapsor too, so just keeping that pressure Oh, up no, on Seb. And that boot pick up from Yapsor, allowing him to get range. just in range for that light strike. Seb trying to surge away. All right, Puppy needs the snipe. Oh, he oh, got him. Oh, he got it. Oh, he didn't do it. 12 HP. No, he did do it. Yapsor got the right click in. Dude, the boot's paying off big time. Okay, solid rotation, though, for at least getting a return kill there uh, onto Jerax. Two deaths on Seb already on this bottom lane. Says. So, the and, power uh, of this tri lane from Secret. It's the walk of shame. Right. It's, uh, at least and he's easy, level two. I was going to say, at least he's got the surge. <laughs> you know, he can go for a bit of a sprint for some of the distance. Oh, mid lane. <sighs> Almost. Oh, he actually gets he got him. The oh, solo. Oh, oh, oh. Thompson went a oh, bit too deep. mid one. Outplay with the mid gyrocopter. Beautiful play there. Gives him the respect tip there, but at the same time, obviously, we get the kill on the top. And look at that. The, the anime's out as well. That's when you know it's going to get real. 
Oh, okay. Meanwhile, he returns to the lane, and they want to put the pressure right back on him. So they've got Puppy lurking. Oh. He's coming in. Look at Midpoint. Yeah, he's just taunting, teasing with the, the edge of his life. The bait setup's there. Thompson, he's going to go for the tornado. But Midpoint, he's just moving in on oh this. Midpoint, uh, he's got the fair fire. He knows he's safe. The missile's out. Thompson, he's gone. It redirects. Even hits Sokshka. Make sure the Puppy's able to walk safely out of there. This oh. mid lane, this Midpoint gyro. That's two walks of shame already now for the side oh. of OG. I think you did mix your magics there, Thompson. Mixed them up a little bit there. Well, mid one with the with two Wraith bands, he's gonna get some easy CS down mid. I think he was motivated by that beautiful picture. I was gonna say, who, who, whose is that? Who's responsible? I'm not, I'm not who's responsible the for the anime? <laughs> <laughs> was it Thompson? Who put that down? We I can't don't know. Tell, you can you can't click them like yeah. boards. Somebody. Oh, I guess I can always just check their profiles. Yeah, it was Thompson. It, it was Thompson. 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 That's what you get. Anime doesn't pay, kids. And so here we go. Bottom late. Seb. Again, the poison stacking up on him. I don't know if he can walk his way out of this one into the trees. He's out and gone for the third time in this bottom lane. I believe he has a grand total of two CS as well. It's wow. not grand and it's not really total. It's it's two CS. Yeah, I mean, you think of Zarek's here and uh, playing that off lane, one of the, mo the best parts is you can just skip, right? You just go away from all the opponents. But when you get put in the safe lane like this, there's nowhere to hide. There there's no place for you going to go and skip creeps at. But we obviously heard the panel discussing how important Anna's game is. And there's no doubt about that. Sure. Anna, you know, he is top of the last hits at he the is. moment. He's even top of the net worth. He's having a great start to his game, which is necessary. Uh, but uh, as they say, at what cost? Maybe Anna. Maybe, maybe this is the man that can carry them. But he's going to have to do it against three very scary secret cores that have all had a great start to their lanes. Yeah, and again, they're looking for another kill down here. Oh, no, uh, when Seb. that wave comes back out, you know, yeah, sort of scattered out with the invis room. Going to see what's what's happening. Still has about half duration left too. So if uh, if Seb tries to like hide in these trees or anything here, might just go down. Luckily, Puffy's too far at the moment for them to get the secure. I think. Charge into the mid lane. If they can get mid one, and they go at the same time. Seb falling low. They're chasing him down. Seb's in a lot of trouble. They get the tornado onto mid one. They will get that one. But Seb, he's running. He can run, but he cannot hide. Puppy just stacking up the poisons again. Seb. Okay, but is that is it indeed a profitable engagement as Thompson claims? I think he might be right. I, mean, I think you're that's taking down the enemy you mid. You just you sack are, Seb getting, again. Yeah, you're getting that bit of a favorable one in the mid lane. Getting getting mid one out of theirs. She needed to do that. This jar is getting free farm in that middle lane. Yeah, worth a, a lot more gold than Seb is, that's for sure. Another disruption here by Puppies. He runs into Jerax, who's, who's kind of low, but has the shrine and the bulldoze. And with that kill, the Jerax was able to get involved in the mid. He's got level four good levels. They can look for Puppy as well. Charge across, light strike from Yapsor. Holds back the dragon. Nisha's there. Seb's going to come in as well, give Jerax that extra bit of a boost with the Surgeon Iron Shell. It's going to allow him to run down Puppy and he'll get the kill. Jerax, the back of a Seb, now charging over. They're down to just two of them down here. They can look for, for Yapsor as well. Light Strike's going to hold back the two of them, but Jerax, he wants to dive in deep past the tower. He's chasing this one down. Surge there once again from oh, Seb. He gets it. They get their comeback down bottom. Jerax with the double kill. Puppy's back in the game. Disruption onto Jerax. Jerax should be able to walk this one off though. He is beefy, he has got the charge, so can simply head across the map. In fact, he's going in onto the mid lane. He might be able to make something happen here onto mid one. Mid one gets the cooldown out. Mid one now out of the mana. Jarex will be able to walk out of range of the rocket barrage. But mid one brought down incredibly low. Does have a salve just being ferried out to him and still two tangos, so still has regen to stick around. Not a lot of mana though, he's all out of the all out of the mana. Yeah. Jarex not looking to push his luck there for another bash. He, he knows he got lucky on the Lena. He's just gonna be happy with that and go back and potentially even use another shrine here, it looks like. Yeah, geez. Jerax uh, trying to set the pace here. And he's just going again, right up onto that Underlord. Anna close for the follow-up, but it's a bit deep. Oh, the creep's coming, though. He's got the six on Anna, so can rely on the Shadow Dance if the dive gets a little too dirty. mid bomb to bait in a TP. Doesn't go for it. Sticks around the mid lane, realizing that the dive was not going to continue from the two of them. Yeah, Jerax, phase boots is done, so can... Have an easier, even easier time of just chasing down and diving targets with this aggressive moves. Oh, and they're going right on the mid one. I don't know if they saw the TP or not, um, but uh, they're still going to try and create this kill opportunity. Tornado in set up in with the charge. Mid one's falling low. Is there going to be any backup coming in for him? There's no TPs now. There is. Puppy's trying to come in towards the mid lane to help mid one out, and he will be able to get far enough away behind that tier one tower to stay alive. Oh. They'll now try and turn, see if they can make something out of this. So they'll go towards Thompson. Jerax charges in. 
to stop any sort of follow-up combo onto the Invoker as Topson will be fine. Gets himself away, but Puppy in just in time to keep mid one alive. Top lane, Anna. Starting to poke away at Zai. Get those essence chef shift stacks built up. Vision's gonna be given on with the charge. Zai tries Jarex. to TP out, but he's not getting out of this one. Zai's gone. And Anna's game continues to look very good on the top lane Slark. 4k net worth, leading the charge by a clear 1,000 on top of any other core in the game at the moment. Yeah, and these two heroes actually have a lot of synergy together too, because one of the ways that you see against a Slark, like you're trying to get them fogged in the tree line like yeah. that, right? But the, obviously you get the, the vision from the Spirit Breaker to try and help you out in the chase. But then uh, on the other hand, Slark also is able to spot all these enemy wards. And you usually tend to put a lot of wards along the river in, in kind of obvious spots just to try and catch these rotations from the Spirit Breaker. But as we hit into the mid game, we might see the Slark helping you to de-ward all of those and give Jarex an even easier time. As he just charges right through the tower, can he hit the freehand LSA? Yeah, so we're not going to turn for it. Anisha should. Yeah, he's definitely going to be aware this is coming in. <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> yeah, I'll just see charge across half the, the half of the map. And Jarex with the six certainly wants to try and try and get some action going with that ultimate. He's got a lot of control, good amount of damage. Especially if uh, any time that he passes by Seb, gets the iron shell on him, they've got good methods to go with. His bottom lane, Seb, gets gone upon. We get the surge off. Homie missile is going to be chasing him. Mid one doesn't want to dive though. Yeah, it'll be all right. He's got the wand and everything too. Man, Jarex is just creating it so much space. Again, he just runs in here with the level three in the bulldoze. And how many heroes have you seen rotate to Ana? None, right? I mean, you have a, a shadow He's demon who's just life. soaking the lane, right? This is absolutely a perfect scenario for him. He is so far ahead yep. in terms of the net worth right now. And the art builds perfect. Gets away with the Midas. Queuing up the defusal, and once he gets that, he's going to be a huge nightmare for any members of Secret. And there's the charger for Jarex on top of Puppy. Another bash he comes through as well oh, as Mimon teeping in, charge in. Jarex with the control as he bashes past the two of them. They get the pick off, and it goes to the Shadow Dance TP, and he's out of there. They'll get the kill, they'll get out. The same time down bottom, Nisha was able to finish off Seb. Jarex, as soon as he's in, he's straight back out with a charge away. Jarek's getting so much done. 3-0-3 three, three on the Spirit Breaker, causing a lot of chaos for Secret across the lanes. This guy's an animal. He's got 526 shovels. How can you even play Dodo with that many shovels? He's got 500. My He's got goodness. 526 oh, shovels. Oh, he needs to dig. I know. What's he doing? Jarex, come on. I mean, I know you're trying to win the game here. You're doing a great job so far. But the battle pass. Nisha. Oh. Stone comes out at the same time as the charge connects, though. Jarex still getting the hit off. EMP, Cold Snap, Thompson has the control. They're going to look to chase him down. Zai comes in with a Firestorm. They're hunting for Nisha. Nisha will be able to hide. He's able to juke him out, stay alive in the trees. Jarek still hunting just in case he went here, but not quite able to keep track oh, of where this he's one. going. I can see it. He's got an easy hit, and Yapsor may even just claim the kill here. Jarek, is there anything he can try and deny himself to? He's trying to cut through the trees, but the Firestorm's down on him. It's going to have the damage to finish him off, and Zai will finally put an end to Jarex's reign across the map. Back towards the river, Puppy has the setup. He's got the illusion trap as well on Sokshka, so he has to make the longer walk around. That's Puppy to get a couple of poisons stacked up, but won't be enough. Sokshka can survive. The roaming Jakiro giving uh, plenty of space again here to Ana. You can see already level this, nine this and a half right now with the Midas, the Wraith Band. He's heading right into the Diffusal Blade. It's, yeah, this is... It's, you know, secret, I've got to be worrying about this a little bit. We saw last series what happens when a Slark is allowed to free farm. And this is another one of those games. Anna, no signs of being slowed down on the farm game. He's making good progress on taking a, a, a tier one tower on his own as a Slark. Yep. But, uh, I mean, we brought up in the draft out this idea of maybe like a Naga or a Faceless Void to try and set up. But at this point, you're up to four points already in the Wex now uh, and four in the Quox uh, for Thompson, too. So he's going to be that big setup. You know, these Tornadoes are going to be super helpful for your Jakiro. And you've already seen how good Jarex is at, at, like, angling these charges, like, with that rotation in for mid one to keep the control to help Ana stay alive. We'll see charge. He's got the ulti. He's got the control mid one. Hasn't got the cooldown out yet. Now he managed to find it, but Anna's on top of him. Another bash too. Mid one's in trouble. He's just straight up dead. They'll get the kill. Disruption. Actually going to end up saving Anna from the homing missile. Roots out from Zai. Nisha's turned up as well. They're trying to turn it around, but Topson's in. There's the tornado set up onto Zai. Anna's on him as well. Starting to get those essence shift stacks built up. Zai's in trouble. The cold stab too. Topson has the control. Doesn't have the damage. Zai will be able to get far enough away. Anna now popping the shadow dance. What target does he want to go for? Looks like he's just trying to get his way out of here. The pounce will be blocked by Nisha. They'll punish Anna. They'll catch him out as he's unable to get himself out of the three of the heroes surrounding him. So I will take a quick trip back to base, but a big kill for Secret, finally able to slow down that Slark a little bit. 
Yeah, they desperately needed that. I mean, these guys putting out all this uh, damage in these team fights, but uh, at the very least, it does still secure the tower for them. So, not a, a complete loss here for OG as well as forcing virtually every hero to the top lane for the side of Secret. Uh, mid one trying to get a similar return in the bottom here, but uh, plenty of time for them to respond if they wish. And of course, we already know they have a pretty good hero doing it in the uh, Spear Breaker. I'll see in the jungle. Jarax. He has been found. Nisha does trade hits back towards him, but keeping the edge, top lane Puppy. He's going to start for a bit of a play onto Sokska, getting his poison stacked up, a bit of 1v1 between the two of them. Coach versus Captain. It's calling for backup. And it's coming, Puppy. He's got to back away as Jerax. He's inbound with the charge. Puppy, quick disruption though, will keep him safe. Holds the Spirit Breaker at bay. Ooh, Thompson's nice. still looking for the dive though. He's coming in behind the tier two tower and he has the setup. Tornado into EMP, cold snap down as well. Puppy's got TP's coming in to help him, but it doesn't matter. Jax is in with the charge. Puppy's dead. Zai, can he do anything in response? He's going to drop down the route, but it won't catch either of them. Jax instantly TP's oh. out, and Thompson ghost walks away. Yeah, mid one also cancelled here too. But it looks like they won't force the fight either way. They're just going to lose Sashka, who's uh, still running. Here and they've and got him. Die. So they'll get something, at least some gold as well, for Nisha to get involved into. Keep him on on sort of a, a good level with his farm, and he is, he's with that Midas pickup, less than 1k behind Dana, so it's getting very close between the two carries. Jeez, OG are so bloodthirsty, like Thompson, he went in his top lane, and then just made his way into the mid, now he's still scouting around here as he sees mid one. Are these movements, and mid one, he's got to be careful how far he steps up, they're in with the combo straight away, mid one that has the wall drop down upon him, there's no escape for this gyro. Yeah, this surged Spear Breaker, of course, uh, we haven't seen it too much this game, honestly, because Jarek's widely been playing uh, kind of on the other side of the map, uh, from Seb, but now back together with the Iron Shell, and again, he just goes. They have this deep vision on the Yapsor. It's just no stopping, and look at the speed with the Surge. <laughs> Yapsor was unable to read the timing to get the Light Strike. He was just moving too darn fast as Jarex dives in. Another kill for OG. Yeah, Sashka even trying to kite the spend a little bit here. I think he might be all right. Nisha's got to be careful. He's out of mana. He's getting cold snout. Zai does have the route to offer to buy some space for Nisha to get back. I spar fought the mark, but doesn't matter anyway. They were behind the tier two. Secret. We'll be fine, but the, the, the EMPs are, are so terrible for Secret to fight into every time. Topson is just making it impossible for Secret to throw out a single spell. The man is gone. They're just getting pulled all across this map right now from these rotations. I feel like every time I look at a player on Team Secret, they're having to TP, you know? And uh, currently they're all back up, at least. So uh, if the next person gets dove behind a tier one like this, maybe they can actually help them and save them a little bit easier. But uh, OG, I mean, you come to these games, we, we tend to talk about like underdog teams playing against someone who's like a little bit more stable or your super tier ones. And we always talk about like win the lanes and go real like hard in the early game. And, and that's sort of a deal. And uh, of course, OG certainly uh, still a, a top team here, even if they're missing one of their players. But they have that aggression going right now. Oh, and he's straight Secret in, looks, You know, they, they look ah. a little shook. He like dives in onto Puppy, casually walks out. He feels confident to go wherever he wants at the moment. Faze now building into the drums, making sure that he has all those early stats to allow him to keep this, this sort of the, this aggressive tempo up. This mid one, he, he's he's fallen behind. You know, he's he's got to try and find that first item so he can turn up to these fights without being threatened by the big combo that OG have. Yeah, when we talk about this gyrocopter without the IO, um, in the past it's been very aggressive. It, like you're used to seeing this guy diving towers really early on, like tier twos when there's still a tier one sort of a deal. When you have to play the hero like that, and that that's just not mid one's and game. They found him again. Jarex in with the charge. They have the control straight back into the ice path combo. Topson, there's no hope for mid one. He does not have a damage amp, right? He doesn't really have a save other than disruption. It, it, he has to go BKB first. His game is so slow, and now they're just right on the Yapsor. They're just finding kill after kill after kill. Ice path down onto oh, Yapsor. He's got mid ones getting in on this one. Can they turn things around? It's going to be a big cooldown onto the two of them. Thompson's already getting up. The Ghost Wars stuns out of Jarex. Thompson will fall. Mid one gets the double kill. There'll be a buyback from Seb. Anna's in on the front lines. Wants oh, to punish mid one. Mid one is a dieback. The charge through from Jarex. Anna's got the shadow dance. He's looking towards Sai. He'll get it. He'll pounce down to the safety of the river. And they're out of control. Ana's going to get away with this one with his Midas now back up as well to keep adding up to his total now. I mean, mid one with that buyback did manage to get a double kill, but instantly dying again is another painful 40 seconds for mid one where he's unable to farm. Yeah, he only lost a little bit of gold because of the kills he got, but of course those 40 seconds are definitely going to add up where he's just not hitting creeps whatsoever. So a big loss for him. Only a little bit of XP even gained there. Falling behind his allies here. The surge here, Anna. In onto Yapsor, time of the dark pact. Light, the Laguna blade is going to be thrown out, but it doesn't matter. Anna 
That 1600 HP doesn't care, and Puppy, he CP'd in, but Tops is prepared. There's the Tornado set up, charging as well. Puppy's just dead and gone too. OG. Kill after kill after kill. I mean, and the think pressure about now on towards the tier two mid. When they get Greaves on Seb, all right, these dives are just going to be absolutely brutal. Like, when, when he can just get into this mech and just keep them going, it's already it feels like they're hard to kill. Just that one little bit of sustain is going to do so much for them. And this Surge Spirit Breaker. Leaving little to, to any chance for Secret to react anytime Jarek sees a target that he wants to go for. Well, and like Underlord is just not a hero that plays from behind, right? This is a hero that's supposed to do extremely well in the laning phase. I mean, both Underlord and Jara. Yeah, you're supposed to Two build goals. some auras up and you just start pushing and you just make it so it's like this impossible horde that you have to try and stop from approaching your tier twos. And I mean, they're forcing their own tier threes right now. They're going to smoke up and shadow behind mid one. Secret's only sort of powerful core. It is Nisha. And, you know, Nisha, he has to get the BKB. Before yeah. he has the BKB, he is pretty oh, useless if he's seen fights. They've found him. We'll get the God Strength off. Ice Path, Makapari combo comes down. Puppy will save him for now with the defensive disruption. Sokshka, he's been left behind. The Roots out, and Yapso should be able to finish off the Dragon. The rest of OG on the retreat. See if the Secret can chase anything more. They're into the high ground, up by the Shrine. Looking towards Anna. Anna does have the Shadow Dance to rely on. So should be able to... Play his way out of this. The damage is coming out, but it's not enough as he's got the speed from the surge. Now Thompson with the counter play. Wrap around. Tornado EMP dropped down the wall as well, splitting up the fight. Puppy being left behind this time. A secret will look to take everybody out of this. And with the ultimate, they will be able to do so. No amount of damage available from OG to get any kill in time. Oh, they see him with the ward though. And they got him. Oh, he's just been left. Yep. They've got him. Caught him on the They charge vision. him in. They have the control. He's surrounded. Everybody else got out, but Nisha was still down there. As a 3k lead for OG, as Anna Slark continues to prevail, and the aggression of the other God, four players of OG, charging mid right now. it is absolutely relentless. Nowhere seems safe on the map for Secret. Anywhere that they come out, OG instantly jump, looking for the fight. Oh, they have that sentry down. And now they know that Observer was just placed by Puppy, but uh, Puppy is going to put down the sentry and notice the one that was uh, scanning his own movements there. So backs away to safety. But they're after Yapsor. Just poking and prodding here because there's really not a lot of objectives to get, right? We got a bottom tier two and a top tier two. So they'll just uh, start chipping away at these now. They've driven them again back to the high ground now. And it feels like Secret need like some sort of a blink dagger, some sort of a, a hero to make a play here. But I mean, what are you gonna do? Get an early blink on your Sven? Then his damage is gonna be lacking. You already have a gyrocopter that has to go for a BKB first as well. They are really gonna need. They need these dives to just go to like the absolute next level from OG, where they basically just throw this big lead. And it's only a 3k gold lead, so it doesn't look that crazy. And a lot of that is tower gold, to be fair as well. So it's certainly not like a, you know, a game over sort of lead right now, but of course it's looking very scary with all the Slark games we've seen similar to this. Yeah, it's just the sort of nature of the, th the three cores that they're playing with. As we say, the, the secret out this Gyro and Underlord, they, they need items, they need space and farm, and they're not being given it. Yeah. With and how much OG is just constantly looking for action. It kind of comes back to like how much is gold worth on, you know, your heroes versus their heroes. Like yeah. sure, it's only a 4k lead, but you know, Sven, he tends to be way up ahead. You know, if he's 2k ahead of the enemy carry, he's probably sometimes a little bit even, even, right? Um, and same thing with a gyrocopter, so. Now Jarex just making space in the bottom lane. He, he's not a, you know, just like a, a nothing kill because he's worth so much at 5, 2, and 11, but he is guaranteeing Roche by doing this. Well, gets the bulldoze off. Stains resistance is there. Charge will be canceled by the root though as he will be surrounded, and they should certainly have the kill here. He'll try his best to hide into the trees, but a homing missile's inbound. No messing around for mid one, dropping the cooldown upon him as well. They'll get him. The space is there. OG pick up Roshan, and Anna gets that Aegis. It's a trade that OG will not be too fussed about taking. As Anna's Slark game continues to, to grow in its strength and potential. And Seb catching up a little bit now, too. Uh, he, he's a little bit further behind than he likes to be on the Darks here, but his Greaves are now complete. They're just flying out on the Courier. And uh, going high ground is, I would still say, a little worrisome here for OG, right? Like, they, they don't have the best Siege at the moment. Going to be looking for pickoffs, But, of course, that's what they've been doing uh, the entire game. I have. So, nothing changing. Oh, yeah, you're right. OG, they don't have a... 
sort of insane siege and, and also secret they do have good wave clear, good ways to de-push the lanes with the Lina, the Underlord. And of course just good ways to farm quickly any wave that sort of gets pushed in with either the Gyra or the Sven. So Secret can hold and keep the game going from a high ground perspective. OG sort of strength will be the dives and, and if they're able to get them off successfully because that could also be the turning point. Yeah, if one way too far. we saw LGD do it, um, obviously they had a much larger gold lead at their point in the game versus forward, but they essentially just sent in Ame. So you can kind of do the same thing here with Ana, where he goes in and, of course, he's supposed to be very survivable. Might want to wait until you have uh, that next big HP item in the Scotty, but he's going to try and create vision opportunities there for the uh, Invoker to follow up with, the Spirit Breaker to follow up with, and then eventually the Jakiro will saunter his way in there uh, and try and get an Ice Path into a Macro Fire here. But so you can see that uh, slow BKB does eventually come out. Considering mid one's game, I mean, a minute and a half slower isn't that bad, frankly. Of course, I think those gyros usually have one item done by then, not a, a flat BKB. You know, you like to have a drums or something a, a little bit better. Yeah, we'll see how much of a difference it makes in the fights if mid one is able to stand his ground, tops him. It's got here by Zai. They've got the Yule set up. The stun, see if they can burst him. Laguna Blade down. Topson in trouble. He's falling low, but Stokshka. There with the backup missiles there onto Tops and Tops is still in a lot of trouble. There's the stun out upon him. They killed him. The Invoker's dead. Now they'll turn towards Ooh, Sashka. Reef's going to be popped. They get the vacuum wall combo into the ice path onto both Nisha and Zai Zai. He's going to try and take them out of this. They know with that buyback, Aoji want to fight. They're trying their best to bring Topson back into the action. He will get there, but Secret's already out. Yeah, very nice. I mean, that's a good trade. Honestly, you're behind, right? That's going to favor you in the end. Of course, forcing the buyback's the big thing. You know, we've seen so many times in these games that big buyback comes out and then you might lose the fight after. But Underlord, he's a failsafe. He just pops the ulti and says, look, if they want to force another fight right now and think that we can't get out of here, hop on, guys. I'm out. Well, Hannah's still hunting. Get into the smoke of secret. Disruption set up from Puppy. Dark Pact has to be used. He's been rooted. The stun's out as well. The chain control isn't enough. No, Anna gets the pounce. Shadow Dance is unavailable for 30 seconds, but the Grease from Seb keeps Anna safe. So on the high ground, starting to regen up thanks to the Shadow Dance. So they can go back in for more. Forced down by Topson. So we're going to go in onto Nisha, but Nisha's onto the high ground by Zai's side. Japsel's back in the game. Trying to hold that BKB on Nisha. Does not want to waste it here. Gonna look for Anna. I mean, Still. these soul catchers have been so good from Puppy. I mean, he's the reason they got tops in the first time. He's the reason they've been so close to killing Anna a couple times here as well. Doji will surely want to keep the aggression up, especially for this next minute and a half where they do still have the Aegis on Anna. There's the oh, charge Zai. in. Found Zai. He was trying to TP back to base. TP back up. He's going to be coming in around They're the shrine. Fight him? They're going to try and vacuum Puppy. Ice pass down. It's going to catch the two of them as they TP in. That's the initial one. combo hits. Now Nisha, he will commit the BKB. Turns towards Topson and Jerex. Gets the two-man stun. Topson's going to be able to slide away. Now they look straight back towards the space cow. Jerex is dead. Yapso focused by Anna. Anna's taking the leaner out of the fight. Ice pass from Soshka has the, to stun the control onto Zai. Anna's surged up. Roots down, but the dark pack removes. He's trying to get to Zai, but Zai healed up by the shrine. He'll survive. Ice path down again. Soshka breaking up the fight. Anna's in with a pounce on top of mid one. Charge through from Jerex as well. Mid one's dead. Zai's surrounded. The ice pop slowing him down. In they go. Yule's up into the air, but he cannot get out of this oh, one. Anna claims another three dead on secret. They want Puppy. As no Puppy to escape. is in, a, in the air, comes back down. Topson, Anna waiting for him. More permanent essence shifts for the Slark. What a dangerous fight to take a secret. I can't believe they TP'd out for that. They, I mean, it was closer than I expected, honestly, in that little bit of the start of the fight. It kind of felt like maybe they're going to get a couple pickoffs on Secret and perhaps turn that one around. But how about that kiting there from Sashka? I mean, the guy's coming in again in these games and playing really well there in the Jakiro. And now they're pushing the base. Tier 3s are gone. 26 minutes in, they're onto the racks. Yep. And you get a couple kills. I mean, Jakiro can tread the towers. You just obviously can't do it when everyone's alive. But he's helping to get through these. And they want a second. At least another Tier 3 here. They know they can push for it. They know their strength at the moment. OG. Secret. Can I have Puppy back at 25? See how much more OG want to try and push for. His eyes in. Goes for the root setup. A top's a good angle from the side. Gets the two man tornado. EMP down. Nisha pots the BKB. He has got enough mana to get the God Strength out, but already Jarek straight to the back lines. He's found Yapsor. Yapsor's dead for 45. Nisha leads him with the stun onto Jarek's, but again, the control, oh, the, ice, the ice path, the deafening blast pushes back Nisha. Nisha's dead without buyback. The BKB comes out from Mipple, but he's got nothing to fight with. GG is called, and OG take game one at the best of three against Team Secret. Well, that is not what we were expecting not coming into oh this one. Oh my goodness, I didn't expect.